So you want a clean area to work on in the studio. These tables always are dirty, so I'm always careful about setting my beautiful, expensive, nice paper down on the tables. So I just have something. This is where even a piece of your newsprint would be fine underneath for just protecting um, your paper. Um, you're gonna put your plate, and we call the matrix, the thing that you print off of in printmaking, a plate. Ironically here, we're literally using a plate itself, a dinner plate to be our printmaking plate. Um, but basically you've got your inked up plate, um, you're gonna put it on your paper, on your, your just clean work surface. And I've got here some um, of that computer paper. Now, actually, I already checked this off the camera, but before you touch anything, always make sure that your hands are clean. I do a lot of like towel, I make sure I kind of rub and test that I don't have anything on my hands. I don't want fingerprints on my paper because nothing's worse than a beautiful print that you get fingerprints on. Okay, so I know my hands are clean. I've got my printmaking paper. Now, we've talked in another video about registration. You don't need to worry about registration for this. We're just kind of learning how this process works. So I'm just gonna kind of eyeball, I want it essentially in the center of my paper, um, but I'm gonna just sort of eyeball where the center is. And I'm gonna gently lay it down and you don't wanna wiggle or move, okay? Gently lay it down. I usually hold it and sort of gently press. And the ink will actually make the paper kind of stick. Then it's a matter of pressure. Um, I don't want so much pressure here that I break the plate. Um, so you can use a brayer, or excuse me, a baron. You can use a baron. You can use, although the last time I decided this was sticky, so I didn't really like how that worked. Um, you can use a spoon, but honestly, just your fingers for this, and I'm not even putting my weight, I'm just kind of lightly giving it some pressure, should be enough to pick up this image. I'm not going to just tear it off. I'm going to peek and make sure I got nice contact. See how there's a little bit of plate texture? That's the styrofoam texture. You're never going to totally get rid of that. Um, but I could just rub a little more to try to get it a little bit better. I'm just making sure I kind of covered everything, nice, even pressure. All right, I'll peek again. Looks pretty good. And then we do what's called pull the print. So I'm gonna pull my print up. If you get areas that have, see how there's kind of a line here, that's almost too much ink. You want a nice even coat um, that shows you've got the right amount of ink. If you get a lot of what almost looks watery, it means you had too much ink on there. This is something to keep practicing. Practice till you feel like you got a nice um, even coat, even pressure and everything's looking kind of nice. The point of this is just kind of to have fun to see what kind of mark you can make, um, what kind of texturing you can get. You can actually do this a second. You can see over here was where I used my fingernail to kind of rub and I used that um, the cap of the Sharpie to rub. Uh, these were all pencil lines that I did nice nice circles for the eyes um, the the just kind of pressing in with that funky tool that miss B had is in the mouth areas so actually pretty similar to what I did with my fingernail um, if I were going to critique this image I probably need more contrast I probably need more areas of white to make the darks stand out um, but in general, I'm off to a good start of understanding line usage, um, understanding ink um, amounts and pressures, which is really the point of what I want you to do here.